hi guys in my last video i actually took you through downloading audacity's fashion studio which as i said in that video that for now as at when i recorded that video it's completely free if you don't know what audacity's fashion studio is i'll just link the video right here and also below this video so that you can go ahead and watch that video especially if you want to learn how to create 3D fashion styles. As I said in that video, before you can start using Audacity's Fashion Studio, you'll be using 3D to create your fashion styles. So I decided in this video to show you how to create a 3D figure of yourself. But that has a lot of 3D, um, 3D forms that you can use to create your 3D fashion styles. But I feel it is best for you to actually use your own body form to be able to create your fashion style. So you can see exactly how these styles look on you. You can also use, of course, a customer's body form. So that when you create styles on your customers, you'll be able to, you know, show how that styles look on your customers. So in this video, I'm going to be using this uh, website called Meshkapede. And we are going to be creating a 3D form of ourselves that has our body shape. So without wasting time, let's go. And so the very first thing you need to do is to put this mesh carpet or mesh carpet. I don't know how to pronounce it. Just put it in Google and it takes it takes you to their website. This is their website. There are a lot of things you can do with this website. But for now, I just want to show you how to create a 3D model of yourself. So when you scroll down, just go to this place that you see body shape from images and then you try it out. So when you click on that, it takes you right here. It takes me here because I already have a, uh, I've already registered. So if you've not registered, just click here, remove here, click sign in. And then you can register with your Google account or you can register directly with an email address. That's how easy it is to create an account with them. But I let me go ahead and register. Um, so once you registered with your email, your password, your first name, and your last name, that is all you need to register. Once you've registered, you will be requested to use that same email and password, and then you're able to log in. Once you log in, this is the place it takes you to. Just to let you know, you can always install the program on your computer. But I'm not going to do that now because that in itself is another video. So remove that. So you can create 3D uh, avatars from 2D images. So what we are going to do, I'm going to upload a PNG image of myself. So I'll just click there. It will open up my computer, and that is the image. So what you would do to get this image, you just wear something that is close-fitting, just like I did, something close-fitting, you know, that will show your shape and your figure exactly the way it is. And then you can snap it. You can decide to remove the background or leave it like that. It really doesn't matter. But I remove the background. And what I use to remove the background is Canva. Unfortunately, you must have a Canva Pro to be able to remove background. But if you search in the website, you should be able to get a software that can help you remove the background 
of your picture without any problems. So this is the picture I'm going to use. So I'll just click on it and I'll just open it. It's going to upload and that is the picture. So now you come here. Remember, I'm not wearing loose fitting clothes. So I'll just click this here and I'll say close fitting clothing. And then I'm going to enter my height in centimeters. You can always enter it in inches, depends on you, but I'm entering in centimeters. And then I'm going to enter my weight. So once you've entered those two things, what you need to do now is just to go here and say, create a vector. Just click on it. While it is preparing, it's just to let you know you have 1,000 points to use. And to create one a vector takes away 100 points, just to let you know. Now, this normally takes some time, so I'll just pause the video, and then I'll come back when it has created the a vector. Now, this took exactly five minutes. So just to let you know that it takes about four to five minutes to be able to generate an a vector that has your shape. Now, now once that is generated, you can go ahead and create another one. As I said, you're free to create a vector of different shapes, different sizes, you know, of your customers that you can now use to create um, 3D fashion styles. Once the processing is complete and your 3D form of yourself has been created, you just go to vote and that vote, you'll find it here by the left side of the software right here and you click on it. So once you click on it, it's going to open up and then show you your, let me see what's holding this there. So that is the effect. Once you bring your cursor to it, that is my 3D body form. So once you come there, just go to these three dots here. Go to these three dots here. And then go to download. And here you're going to download it as FBX. Remember I said we are going to upload this onto um, Audacity Fashion Studio. So to be able to use it on Audacity Fashion Studio, upload, uh, download it as an FBX then download. So it's going to go ahead and download it on my computer. That also takes a little bit time. So once that is downloaded, this is it here on my computer. Let me just bring it here. This is it on my computer. And I've gone ahead to open the Audacity Fashion Studio. If you're watching this video for the first time and you don't know what Audacity's Fashion Studio is, I'll link the video right here on how you can download Audacity's Fashion Studio on your computer. This is the Audacity's Fashion Studio icon on my computer. And once I click this, it opens up like this. As you can see, Audacity already has some default models, models of baby boy, baby girl, as you can see here, female, female flat, female with heels, female plus size. So you can always decide to choose this if you don't want to use your something that is your exact body um, figure. So now we have this here. How do we get this into Audacity? So you just come here and just then go to user. Once you click on user, you will see right here, import mannequin. You click on it, and then on my desktop, I'm going to import that as the mannequin, the Norita 3D model. I'll just click on it, and then I'll open it. And then it's 50%. It also takes a little time for it to upload onto Audacity. So let's wait for it to upload onto Audacity. So that took about two minutes to upload in Audacity. So once you've uploaded it, you can actually, using these arrows to, you know, 
change it the position the way you want. Naturally, we want it to be standing upright. So that's it there. And then you can always change your height again in case you made a mistake. Here, right here, you can change the height if you want, in case you didn't put in your right height. And then we go to next. And here it is important to define the axis of your mannequin so that we ensure the correct functioning of all the fashion studio tools. So just look at what is done here. You're going to highlight all the axes on your mannequin. So as you can see, the red one goes to your chin. So just shift it here to identify where your chin is. That is the chin there. And this two goes to the shoulders. That's the shoulder. Then this goes to the elbows. Where is my elbow? There, right there. This goes to the wrist. I think you're getting the picture now. And this goes, just follow what is being done here and then just do it. It's as simple as that. This goes to the hips. And this goes to the knees. And this, of course, goes to the ankles. And once you're done, we just go to create. Once you're done with that, you click on next. So that's it. To adjust the mannequin's default garment to your needs, select the points where the mesh should be cut. Can let the mesh cover your hand to create gloves to change the mesh length adjust the position of the reference point left wrist if i click on that see where the, where the the cloth is cut up to the left wrist if i click on the right one the same thing will happen so that's it that is how you can create your very own mannequin that has your very own figure and your very own shape with this, I've come to the end of this video, and I hope you'll be able to create your own mannequin that you can use on Odasis Fashion Studio. So going forward in my next video, I'm going to actually introduce you to all the menus that are in Odasis Fashion Studio. That are in Odasis Fashion Studio. I'm going to introduce you to all these menus, you know, explaining to you what you can use each of them for. I'm going to go through all these ones. You can now use your mannequin to create new files. So that's it. Okay. Thank you. So that's my mannequin here. I labeled it so I can find it whenever I want to find it. So in my next video, I'm going to be talking about all this. What can you do with this? What can you do with all these uh, menus here? What can you do with all this and all this? 
what can you do with all this? That's exactly what we'll talk about in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you stay tuned for my next video.